All right, for the, uh, for the tenth year. Up in Piedmont, California, uh, this contest is really becoming, uh, I guess it's nationally known now. This is for the 23rd year, the bird calling contest, the Piedmont High School. Uh, as I say, for 23 years. For the past 10 years, we have had Leonard Waxdeck here and some of the people who are in that contest. So uh, would you welcome, please, Leonard Waxdeck. The year went rather quickly, didn't it? Well, it certainly did. We could not believe when we started discussing this that a year had gone by since you had been here with some, some more young people. Seems like a week. <laughs> yeah. Somebody said that uh, Piedmont High School was uh, received a, a, a nice honor, voted one of the uh, finest high schools in the United, United States? Or? Uh, yes. The last time I was here, we were voted one of the best in California, and subsequently we were voted one of the best in the United States. And representatives from the school were congratulated by President Reagan and Secretary Bennett uh, right. in the Rose Garden uh, in Washington, D.C. That's very nice. Now, how are you handling it? Uh, how did you... Uh, one of the major problems, you had this thing grew so rapidly, you were having problems uh, with, with the requests. Have you finally handled that, how you uh, fit well, everybody in? I, I followed I, your advice last year, and I tried to get the tickets out a little earlier and that just didn't work because the <laughs> demands are exponential each time we get down here there are more tickets that they want so what I decided to do is I established a committee and took it completely out of my hands and the tickets are handled through the committee that's the smartest <laughs> thing you ever did <laughs> get it out of your hands uh, explain the contest briefly and then we'll uh, meet some of these young people well uh, uh, this year we've had about 150 people in the beginning of the year who wanted to uh, compete in the contest and then we had the elimination process and finally we ended up this year actually with more than we ever had, 45. The eliminations were very difficult mm -hmm. and uh, I think that the calls this year were more authentic as I'm sure you'll realize when you hear the callers today. Okay. Yes. I All think right. they're much better than they've ever All right. I'll tell you what we do. We'll, we'll take a break here and then we're going to come back and meet six young people and they will show you their stuff, so stay where you are. Dear, beloved Uncle Dwight, he certainly had a lot of friends. The Pruitts drove all the way from Alaska. What? Alaska. Oh, Alaska. I counted license plates from 18 different states. Hey, Earl, what kind of motor oil do you use? Motor oil is motor oil. What? Motor oil is motor oil. Oh, yes, he is. Motor oil definitely is not motor oil. Four-cylinder cars work harder and need specially formulated Valvoline Four Guard. Don't drive your car to an early grave. Fathers, sons, brothers, friends, the dreams of a nation you fought to defend. We remember. That's why Coors has established a scholarship fund of half a million dollars for children of America's veterans. You can help when you see this Coors and Coors Light Memorial Day display. And the time has passed. And I'm Sandra Santiago. Sex and violence still sells television. That's why we're hosting Friday Night Videos together. I'm tired of being sex. Can I be violence this week? I'm Jimmy Breslin, and I'm hosting Saturday Night Live with Marvelous Mob Hagler, Level 42, and E.G. Daly. Maybe now my kids will listen to me. 